Let's take a look at an example problem for module eight for ME 270 structural dynamics. So in this example problem here, we're asked to obtain the steady state response for a system shown over here. So we have this mass M, we have some spring, the spring constant K here, you can see that this is rolling on a surface here, has some external load, a P of T. They tell us that our spring constant K is equal to 3,454 kilonewtons per meter. They tell us that the mass is 3.5 times 10 to the fifth kilograms. They also give us this chart down here, where we can see we have our P on our Y axis and our T on our X axis over here. So we start with P naught, one time is zero up here goes all the way down over to that one, back up at three, over down at five there. So the period they're telling us here is T1 is equal to four seconds. Our omega one they give us as two pi over four. So with the given information from our problem statement, we now want to create our setup page. So in this example here, they ask us to obtain the steady state response of this system shown below here. So I redraw out my system here with my mass on the spring and external load P of T. I know that my K value was given to me as 3,454 kilonewtons per meter. We have my mass is 3.5 times 10 to the fifth kilograms. Our period T1 is four seconds and our omega one is given to us as two pi over four. And we have our driving function over here of our P versus T plot here. So before we start our solution with this, what we want to do is decide which key equation we're going to use. So we're going to use the key equation from uh, 7.2 from page 185 of our textbook here. So this tells us now that we have this P of T is equal to an A naught plus the summation from N equals one to infinity times our A N times the cosine of N omega one T plus summation from n equals one to infinity of our bn times sine n omega one t. So again, this is from equation 7.2 on page 185 of our textbook. So with all that information from our problem statement written out nicely on our setup page, and now that we've decided which governing equation we're gonna use, we're gonna start with our solution. So from that governing equation from 7.2 on page 185 of our text, we saw that we're gonna have these coefficients, our a naught, a sub n and b sub n that we're going to need to solve for to plug back into those equations. So these come from equations 7, 4 in our textbook on page 185 as well. So from this here, we can see our a naught is equal to 1 over t1 times the integral from tau to tau plus t1 of p of t dt, which is the average value of p of t. Then we have our a sub n, which is 2 over t1 times the integral from tau to tau uh, plus t plus, plus t1 of p of t times the cosine of n omega one t dt for n is equal to one comma two and so on and so forth and our b sub n is equal to t o two over t one times the integral from tau to tau plus t one of p of t times the sine n omega one t dt for n is equal to one two and so on and so forth so say first now let's take a look at our a naught from that our a naught is given by this expression here again from all of these over here from 7.4. A naught is equal to one over T1 times the integral for our specific case, our limits of integration are from negative T1 over two to T1 over two of P of T dt. So we can plug in our known values now. They give us our T1 is four seconds. So we can plug that back into our A naught equation. So A naught is now equal to one over four times the integral now of four over negative four over two to four over two of P of T dt. So we can pull out uh, <clears throat> A one over four here up front of that integral. So a naught is equal to one fourth the integral from negative two to two. Once we do out the math here, p of t dt. So this now we have an expression for a naught. So now we continue on to do the same thing for our a sub n. So our general equation for a sub n from that 7.4 in our textbook is a sub n is equal to two over t sub one times the integral of t negative t1 over 2 to t1 over 2 of p of t times the cosine of n omega 1 t. Well, we now have the values for t1 is 4 seconds 
and our omega 1 is 2 pi over 4. So we can plug these values into our a sub n equation here. So a sub n now becomes 2 over our t1 is a 4, so 2 over 4, times the integral of t1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, or 2, and negative t1 over 2, which is uh, negative 4 over 2, which is a negative 2 there. So those are our limits of integration from negative 2 to 2, once we plug in for our t1, of p of t times the cosine of, now we plug in for our omega 1 here with 2 pi over 4, so this gives us 2n pi over 4 times t dt. So we can reduce and simplify this a little bit here. Um, if we want to, our 2 over 4 could be a 1 half there, and our 2 over 4 could go for 1 half here. We'll leave it in our general expression for now. Next thing we want to do is go to our third term, our b sub n. So b sub n is equal to, in our general equation for this year from 7.4 in our text, 2 over t sub 1 times the integral of negative t1 over 2 to t1 over 2, p of t times the sine of n omega 1 t. And again, we have a value for our omega 1. We have a value for our t1s that we can plug in from up above here for both of those. So plug those in there. And when we do that, our b of n is equal to 2 over 4 times the integral from negative 2 to 2 of p of t times the sine. Now when we plug in here for our omega 1 here of 2n pi over 4t dt. And this is now our expression for b sub n. So now like, let's take a look at this for a half cycle here. So we we'll take a look at our a naught expression here from our general equation and just do it for half the cycle from 0 to 2. So rather than going from negative 2 to 2, we're doing it for half the cycle from 0 to 2 here, where if we look at our graph, we can see that for our p naught, this goes from 0 to 1, and our negative p naught goes from 1 to 2 for our t values there. So we'll do it for the half cycle and we'll break that down even further with those uh, that information for our p of t for our times. So a naught is equal to one fourth p naught t evaluated from one to zero for this here, and minus one fourth p naught t from one to two for a negative p naught value there. So if we do out the math here, these end up canceling, and we end up with for the half cycle a naught is equal to zero. Now we can do the same thing for our a sub n. So a sub n, our general equation here is two over four times the integral for half the cycle from zero to two rather than negative two to two p to t times the cosine now, once we plug in for that omega 1 that we knew is now 2n pi over 4t dt. So now we can do out our integration here. And when we do out our integration, we end up with 2 over n pi p naught sine times sine of 2 pi n over 4t evaluated from 0 to 1 plus 2 over n pi p naught sine of 2 pi n over 4t evaluated from 1 to 2, again, from these guys up here. So we break that up there. Reduce, simplify, do out our math here. We end up with, for a sub n, this is equal to a 4 over 4 p naught over n pi times the sine of n pi over 2 is equal to our a naught. So this, a sub n, so a sub n is equal to this expression right here. Now, lastly, we'll do this again for our b sub n. So we start off with that same general equation we found on the previous slide here for our b of n, 2 over 4 times the integral from 0 to 2 for half the cycle, p of t, sine of 2n pi over 4t dt. Plug in our known values here, do out our integration. So we end up with this expression here. And we see that this right here, and this right here are going to cancel. So for this whole thing, our b sub n is going to be 0. So now that we have our a naught, our a sub n, and our b sub n, we can plug these back into our equation 7.2. So I write out what all of these are here. So we have that our a naught is equal to 0, our b sub n is equal to 0, and our a sub n is equal to 4 p naught over n pi, where n goes from 1, 3, 5, and odd values there. Plug this back into our p sub t equation from equation 7.2, and we see that this a naught goes to 0, this b sub n goes to 0, so that whole term drops out, that term drops out. We're left with our center term right here, summation from 1 to infinity of a sub n times the cosine n omega 1t. So from this, 
take it a step further here. We have a value for our, our a sub n, so we can plug that in here, pull that out front of our summation here. We have 4 p naught over n pi times the summation from n equal 1, 3, 5, all the way up to infinity here. 1 over n times the cosine of n pi over 2 t. Keep going here. We find out now. As we go through for our different values of n here for the summation, p of t is equal to 4 times p naught over n times now here the cosine of pi 6 over 2 minus 1 third the cosine of 3 pi t over 2 plus 1 fifth the cosine 5 pi t over 2, so on and so forth. So find the steady state response here. We have our expression here for u of t where u of t is equal to now 4 p naught over k pi times that summation there, 1, 3, 5, so on and so forth, all the way up, 1 over n times 1 minus r sub n squared times the cosine n omega 1 t. So now we have our r sub n here value, n omega 1 t there. We have our omega n pi over 2, and we have omega sub n is equal to pi. go through this here when we plot this here for each of those values one three five seven so on and so forth we end up with a plot that looks like here for u of t versus t